once in the room, the midwife will stay there and not leave the room. There will always be a clean runner positioned outside the room to help fetch any equipment or people as required. On admission in labour, all women with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 will have a cannula sighted, will be wearing TEDs and a gown. They will also have an anaesthetic review and an anaesthetic chart completed. When the midwife in the room identifies an emergency situation, she will first inform the clean runner and then pull the emergency buzzer. She will inform the runner of the nature of the emergency so that the runner knows who to allow into the room. Everyone needing to enter the room will first need to apply level 1 PPE. For those needing to carry out any invasive procedures such as vaginal examinations or cannulations will need to wear a mask with a visor. Prior to performing a vaginal examination, the obstetrician will need to apply sterile gloves. After making the decision for needing transfer to theatre, the obstetrician will ask the clean runner for a consent form and anything else that's required. At the general, this will include a trolley for the patient to be transferred to theatre on. In these cases, the obstetrician will need to stay with the woman until the woman is transferred to theatre and delivered or the emergency has been dealt with. The runner will inform theatre so that the theatre team can get prepared to receive the woman. The woman must not be transferred out of the room until a message is received from the theatre team to inform us that it is safe to move the woman. In this time, the obstetrician will ensure that the five C's are completed. The woman and everyone else in the room should already be wearing masks. The consent should be completed. A cannula should be sighted and any cannulas already in place should be flushed. If a GA section is likely, then a second cannula should be sighted and citrate should be given to the woman. We should also insert the catheter while the woman is still in the room to save time once she arrives into theatre. At the general, the woman will be transferred onto a trolley ready for transfer to theatre. At the royal, women will be transferred to theatre on the delivery bed. The clean runner should be wearing a mask and is responsible for clearing the corridors and opening all the doors. The obstetrician and the midwife who have been caring for the woman should not touch any of the doors or handles on the way to theatre.
The Woman Will Be Received in Theatre by the anaesthetist and the ODP ready to perform the anaesthetic. She will be transferred onto the operating table and the midwife will leave theatre at this point. The obstetrician will listen in to the FH and recommence the CTG if required. The obstetrician will perform the sign-in along with the rest of the team before going to square. At the general, the trolley will be pushed to one side, ready for the end of the operation. At the royal, the delivery bed will be pushed out of theatre. Whilst the general anaesthetic is being performed, all obstetricians and non-essential staff must stay away from the main theatre area and wait for at least 10 minutes after intubation prior to re-entering. The midwife will wait outside theatre in her clean level 1 PPE ready to receive the baby. She will lift the baby out of the cot into which it is delivered and bring it into the resuscitation area where the baby will be reviewed by a paediatric registrar and then placed in a clean cot. I hope you have found this video useful. We are all learning as we go and it is likely that a lot of our processes will change as we improve and as the situation changes. If you have any further questions, please refer to the most up-to-date UHL maternity COVID-19 SOP and do not hesitate to ask questions.